Bloodborne pathogens are infectious microorganisms in human blood that can cause disease. Some include hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and AIDS. Here are some ways to prevent them. PPE is personal protective equipment. PPE is used to protect healthcare workers from infectious diseases. Gowns. Next are gloves. Next are goggles. Hairnets are sometimes required. Sometimes shoe covers are required. Donning. Doffing. This is the proper way to doff gloves. I have a drink. Did you know that bloodborne pathogens can be spread through saliva? Be careful who you're sharing things with. The following procedure is what to do if your skin comes in contact with any chemicals or bloodborne pathogens. Alert your supervisor immediately and rinse with cool water. Here's what you should not do in case you get a bloodborne pathogen or anything infected with such inside of your eye. <laughs> if there is a contaminated object on the floor or any place where it should not be because it was not disposed of properly, here is the right way to handle and dispose of it. This is what not to do in case you come in contact with a contaminated object. Did you know that hepatitis can stay alive in dry blood for up to 72 hours? Be careful with disposal. In conclusion, some bloodborne pathogens are hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and AIDS. Hepatitis can affect the liver and ultimately cause death later on. OSHA sets these laws and standards to prevent healthcare workers from injury and to protect their environment by using PPE, proper disposal procedures, and material safety data sheets.